Hey guys, what's up? It's Quentin Drew here. So this is just a really quick video. Now I'm just a little clip, I would say, um, of just basically it pays to search. Um, that's what I'm just gonna call it for now. Um, just a really quick video, probably just a couple minutes. Um, so I just want to say, guys. Um, so let's just start off the story here. I was at the bank yesterday, right, and I cashed in my uh, my box of nickels and my box of pennies that I order weekly, right. So I, you know, I usually get like a hundred dollar bill and like twenty five ones to search the ones for star notes and stuff, back and change. So this time I didn't ask, and for the past several weeks I haven't been asking for um, you know, my uh, for the hundred dollar bill and the twenty five and ones. I've been asking for quarter rolls and a dime roll, um, and I just search it really quick. Um, well, my mom just drives me to the other bank to pick up my box since I have to dump at one and go to another one since there's no coin counting machines out here um, and I searched the rolls right and I'm looking for silver I just look at the edges I don't really go through each different coin now I noticed a few of the rolls looked like they were bulging out right and they were coin tainter rolls and a lot of people just usually just buy those if they have a big you know uh, hoard of change that they've piled up from you know change and stuff uh, from circulation and purchases and what not um, so, like, they probably used a machine, a little coin counting g junk machine. I actually have one over there, um, in my room. Um, and they probably just bought the little coin tainer wrappers that you can get at the dollar store, like a pack of 30 different mixed ones for, you know, a dollar or a couple bucks or whatever. Um, and the machine, Usually they just see if the, because there's little container tubes that have to fill up the quarters, they usually just see if it's, make sure that it's totally full, and they never count out the coins usually. So I noticed some of the rolls were bulging, and I decided to count them, and take a look what I found, guys. <laughs> uh, so I think it was like probably five of the rolls had more than it should have had, um, five or plus more rolls, and, um, some rolls had a dollar more, some rolls had 75 cents more. One had a, a nickel in it, <laughs> and one had a quarter in it that was, you know, a nickel and a quarter, both in the same roll, that was too much. Um, so you could obviously probably tell that it was a uh, little junk machine counting thing. Um, so I got one, two, three, four, uh, so a dollar so far, um, $1.25, $1.50, $1.75. Two dollars, and this one's really nice. This one has a nice uh, orange rim. It's a 95, but it's not in the greatest shape. The back's really nice. The front's just really kind of circulated. But yeah, so what am I at? Uh, I lost track here. Sorry, guys. Dollar, two dollars, um, three dollars, three fifty, and three fifty-five. All from just looking at the rolls and making sure that there were exactly 40 quarters in each roll. So I got technically two silver dimes for free. <laughs> All right, and that was yesterday, which was Friday, and um, at school, uh, I just nonchalantly picked up some money, and they got uh, another 25 cents and change. So, what are you at? About a 280, I think I'm at, or um, what am I? Uh, yeah, 280. So, or no, 380. Sorry, guys, 380 in just free clad, like. I think that's worth it. <laughs> so yeah, that was really awesome, guys. So that's a little segment of mine. Um, pays the search, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, guys, thanks guys for watching. Happy hunting. See you guys later.